the first canto of the Inferno, Dante meets three beasts and then calls upon the poet Virgil to say it. This is very different. In the middle of life's journey, he found himself lost. Lost on the cobblestone streets of an ancient city. A city without its gates. A city oak to the longings of the past. An old city with its towers shooting into the sky, leaning towards them too, although not famous. Among the wanderers of the morn of the night, from one dive to another, before dawn thrives in an ancient city. See the arches, how they unfold across the landscape, in the distance, under the rain, how you stand and peer into the raindrops falling on the cobblestones. Scrapers of cities from afar, lost in palms, by the edge of desolate desert, at the foot of a hill, by a lake of sea. And now in the city of arches and absent gates, of clouds and endless skies, he finds himself in landscapes he's come to know, seen from his passage down below. In the middle of life's journey, he found himself at the foot of the hill. And after he passed the bikers and the cigarette sellers, after he passed the cross bearers and the prayers and the family members, after he chanced upon the villa even, the villa de la Rosa, ghost-like wandering among the trees, solitary in the galleries that night, now at the foot of the hill, of the famed church on the hill, he begins the ascent. There were figures running about, figures climbing, there were the tourists snapping tirelessly their bits, cyclists walking up because they just couldn't cycle anymore, runners huffing and puffing and resting along the walls. There were the singers and the hymners and the storytellers too among the whores, grandmothers with their grandchildren, parishioners making the pilgrimage of sorts. There were even those who stood along and peered down below into the fields and into the hills towards the top. And when he had made it to the top, made it all the way up, this is where he ran the top. The beasts were at the top of the hill. Not at the bottom, but at the top. And inside the palace of worship. In the middle of life's journey, he came upon the beast at the top of the hill. The first beast he encounters upon his entrance into the house. He had walked by and moving slowly her lips. And he had gone to sit in the back in the pew. But when he had walked by, he saw her in the booth. And this is the confession. He stood momentarily, hesitating but pausing long enough to see it, to make sure. And when she exited, he saw her from the seat in the back of the pew, making the sign of the cross, and almost ashamed yet seemingly having overcome her sins, walking towards the altar and kneeling and making signs with her hands and then smiling. When he stood and exited and lay down on the grass in front of the house of worship, he saw the second beast. It was salvation itself. Attainment lights here at the top of the hill. Salvation, the second beast. Face to face at last. And the third beast was not far behind. When he made his way through and walked away from salvation with all his strength, it was a sanctuary itself. The last of the beasts. I like it. I get a lot. Even like 
for a try for that one.
that was uh, whatever works or whatever it takes. Yeah. Something like that, I forget. <laughs>